right, good morning, everybody, wherever you are in the world, whatever time of day it is. I hope it's a good time of day for you. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let's do the morning message for today. Um, let's see what's going on. I'm going to be putting up part three of the Am I Psychic uh, videos, the little series I've been doing, the Frequently Asked Questions. That's going to be up, I think, on Thursday. And on the weekend, I'm going to be putting up a... Um, an informational video about who was I in my past life. There's some really cool astrology pieces that I want to share with you on that. We are doing, it has, it's related to the South Node and the Ascendant. Um, if you're interested, we have an Ascendant class. I just finished doing the live classes, but we are going to be doing uh, more of that. So if you're interested, there's also a North Node master class happening in April. And if you really are interested in your past life, uh, we're doing a past life regression series in April. So lots going on with the channel, lots going on. I'll be, I'm going to be in Sedona for a couple weeks and uh, just soaking up the, the outdoors. Just, you know, I really want to see that part of the country. So doing that, doing that. So you'll see some stuff from Sedona coming up in the next couple weeks. Awesome. All right, let's see where we're going. To be fair, there's that Libra energy again. I've seen that a lot. Um, here and now, chop wood, okay? This is very much about staying in the moment, okay? About not um, getting ahead of yourself. You know, if you, you can tell if you're not staying in the moment, if you have anxiety, that's about the future. And regret is about living in the past, okay? And so you can tell if you're doing those things, if you're really feeling those emotions a lot, um, then, you know, ways to really work on your anxiety, especially your anxiety, you know? Um, it's really great to just bring yourself back into the moment. That alleviates a lot of anxiety. Uh, and it's worked for me. So I want to recommend that to anybody who has some... Um, anxiety or even if you're even if it's like really off the charts mindfulness and meditation can very go a long way to helping that okay so there's something now about bringing yourself back into balance and it just feels good to me this feels like you've done what you needed to do you've said your piece or you've you know gotten yourself to a place of um a balance and peace which is really positive it feels to me yes look at that star energy underneath eight of cups and more libra energy we will definitely uh be talking about libra in the extended okay um yeah <laughs> wow nine of cups okay so sometimes the underneath of the deck just speaks to me and if you take my tarot class you know that for me it's like this is what's going on under the surface these are things that you may not know what's going on or this is like the, the path that things are going to be traveling. So it's new information. Uh, I do feel like if you're dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Sag, I feel like um, if you have done this, if you've come into balance for yourself and you're walking your path, um, you are eventually going to get what you want. Okay. Uh, you might have to stand up to this person more than once. Okay. It's also true that this person can be in your life to teach you to stand up for yourself. They might not know that that's the purpose, their purpose in your life, but that's one of the lessons that they're here to help you learn. So they may in this life not be aware that they're doing this. They're kind of pushing you and taking advantage of you or something. And so you finally stand up for yourself and that's how their soul is, is pushing them. Okay. So woo, look at that. 10 of cups. Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups, ooh, I like this, Five of Pentacles, Empress, Ace of Pentacles, Emperor. Look at that, my darling, Chariot, wow, King of Pentacles, woo, lots of, lots of awesomeness here. The only thing that's weird is this Five of Pentacles, and I'm going to get clarity around that. So I feel like you're on the road to be going towards what you want, right? Remember the fool and the nine of cups here. This is showing up. So what's going on subconsciously is being directly mirrored what's going on consciously. So 
Ten of Cups and the, the Wheel of Fortune. Something likely has come to a, an end of a cycle, right? And you're having to get balanced. I feel like your heart is going to help you here. Um, your feelings are going to help you. That's really your intuitive sense. So don't create drama. Just do what's right for you. This Five of Pentacles and Empress, we're going to look at that. Ace of Pentacles, something new, a new path here. Wheel of Fortune and Ace of Pentacles. Taurus Libra energy. So between May and um, August, September. All right, interesting. And I feel like this is really when you take charge. Both of you could be taking charge of your life here and really pulling into some kind of stable power in your life. The Five of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. I like the trajectory of that. It's like, I think I don't have anything, but I have a lot. What's the Five of Pentacles here? Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, Hermit. All right, so some kind of ending or some kind of leaving someone out in the cold. You felt left out in the cold. They feel left out in the cold. Something, some experience like that uh, really created an ending. And the per remember what I said about this person pushes you to stand up for yourself. This person pushes you. You're getting a ton of wisdom from this person. So they may not be doing it in what you would call a positive way. Uh, sometimes we learn from our difficult lessons more than we learn from like, you know, something being easy. This is much more of a, of a plutonic kind of experience. I talk a lot about that. Um, I do have a class, Pluto, Plutonic Relationships, and I think a lot of people can, can uh, take um, twin flame relationships, uh, think it's a twin flame, and really it's Plutonic, and Plutonic relationships are about change and transformation in a very, very powerful way. So that can be, you know, like, um, because Scorpionic energy is about death and rebirth. It can be completely changing who they are or you could be completely changed because this person was in your life. So for example, this person could be someone who like, um, you view this as someone who's like taking your husband, taking your money, taking you, but they're forcing change on you. And that change needs to happen. Uh, the most, the, the most powerful one, I, well, the not most powerful, but it is a powerful thing for you to be able to do to stand your ground. OK, stand your ground and this person may be pushing you to do that. And what's going to happen from that is you are going to be able to be opened up to some much more um, grounding, uh, bold experiences that are going to be, uh, I don't know, you're just going to be bigger in the world because of this. You could be settling for something really small. And this person's soul is like pushing you like, you're better than that. Okay, you're, you have something better to achieve, bigger to achieve. You can't be hanging out here. You got to go. Okay, you got to move forward. Um, emperor and Empress here I'm seeing. So this person could be pushing you toward a life partner. You could be in a relationship that is just meh. Okay, and this person... Um, is somebody who uh, they could break up with you. They could, um, you know, throw you out. They could fire you. They could do a lot of things. But in reality, the, the, the purpose of this person in your life is to get you stronger, to get you on your path. Okay. I like that. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for me. Could feel a little painful in the making though. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands. You got a mindset. Um, there's some kind of mindset that needs changing. Some kind of mindset that needs changing here, and you will do it. This person will be successful at their mission. King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Strength, I love it. Page of Swords. So... Whatever is going on here, um, if you're having anxiety or you're, if you're feeling hurt by the end of a relationship or you're feeling like something needs to change, the, the way to work with this energy, I feel, is to go inside to be in your hermit energy 
um, be in the moment. Stand in the moment. Don't get ahead of yourself and don't be all about regrets or anything like that. I feel like you need to be free of all of these encumbrances about, oh, what if, you know, like worried about the future, that's anxiety, right? Or, oh God, I messed up, worried about the past. I don't think that's the purpose here. I think the real purpose here is for you to move forward. Okay, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Pisces, Taurus, Libra, again, Aries, um, Cancer, Virgo, Leo. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I'm going to continue on with um, those signs. I will look at those signs. So that could be your sign or that could be the other person that you're dealing with. Uh, whatever, it's guidance for those signs. Um, I feel like standing up for yourself is a big thing here. And I feel like that's going to push you to make some bold moves in your life that you should be making. Okay. Um, 2021 is a five year. Okay. Universal five. So two plus two plus one is five. It's a universal five year, numerologically speaking. And that means a lot of change. So it, it, it doesn't have to be painful change. I don't really feel like I feel like it might be painful in terms of this person has to push you to change and maybe in a negative way. All right. But the wisdom that comes from this is priceless. Absolutely priceless. So I'm going to look at all those signs in the extended. If this resonates for you, I think they're pushing you toward a life partner. Um, you know, a very, very, powerful life partner indeed emperor and the empress here all right so if you want to continue on with me i'll continue on with this reading i'll look at those signs too link is below if you're on patreon the rest of this reading starts right now